Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuy.com, and in this video, I'll be walking you through how to set up a website with Drupal, an easy to use, open source software platform. We'll go through the sign up and the setup here on my screen so you can get your new website online today. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. When you're getting your new website set up, you're going to need two things to get online a domain name and a web hosting account to store your files. The domain name is what visitors will type into their address bar to find your website. As an example, you could call it www.ryansfirstblog.com. While there are hundreds of web hosting companies out there, we have tested InMotion Hosting, Web Hosting Hub, and Bluehost. We're going to be using Bluehost for this video. So let's go ahead and use the first site guide link to pull up the website. So we'll enter www.firstsiteguide.com slash Bluehost into our browser. That'll pull up the main website. Up here on the slider, you'll see the green Get Started Now button. So go ahead and click there. You'll be taken to this comparison chart of the three different hosting plans that Bluehost offers. Since we're only going to be hosting one website for now, let's go ahead and click on the green Select button underneath the Basic column. Here's where you'll enter the domain name you've decided on, and then click on the blue Next button down below. On this new page, you'll enter your account information, starting with your first name, last name, your country, street address, city, state, zip, phone number, and email address. Down below that, we'll go through the package information. For the account plan, you can either go with the 12-month price, the 24-month price, or the 36-month price. And you'll see that it gets more affordable for the longer that you purchase. Next, you'll want to decide if you'd like to activate domain privacy protection. Without it, your domain information will be publicly available online. With it, Bluehost's information will be used to protect your personal information. If you plan to do backups of your website yourself, you can uncheck the Site Backup Pro option here. And I don't usually use the Site Lock Security option, and I'll go ahead and uncheck that right here. Keep scrolling down and begin filling in your billing information. You'll start with your credit card number, the expiration date, and the signature code on the back of the card. Once you've double-checked your information, Tick the I agree box here, and then click on the big green submit button to submit your order. A few minutes later, you'll receive your welcome email from Bluehost with your username, your name servers, and the FTP information. To edit your password and log in, you'll need to click the update your password link right here. Once you're finished with that process, you'll be inside the Bluehost account dashboard. From here, you can adjust the settings of your account, change your billing information, and much more. Right now, what we want to do is scroll down to the website section and find the one-click install icon right here, and then click on it. And then scroll down just slightly to find the Drupal 7 icon, and click there. Once this page loads, click on the green install button and then make sure that your domain is selected in the drop down box before clicking on check domain. For this last step, I like to check the show advanced options here, set a site name,
and then save my admin password. Click to accept the terms and conditions and then click on the green install now button down below. And you'll see the installation making progress up on the top of your screen. Once it finishes, you'll see a view credentials button up here in the top right. So go ahead and click there. And then click on the My Installs link here on the left. Within this section, you'll see your domain name and the information for your Drupal installation. Let's click here on the admin login and then enter in your username as well as the password that was set during the installation and then click on login. Great, now we're inside of the Drupal dashboard. This is where you'll adjust settings, add new content, and change up the appearance of your website. Let's go ahead and create a post by clicking on the content section. Here's where we're going to want to decide if we want to add an article, which is similar to a blog post or a basic page, which works well for an about us page or any other page that stays more static. I'm going to add an article. I'm going to add a quick title. and then fill in the body. Then scroll to the very bottom and click on the save button. Once it loads, it will show you a live preview here of the content, the title and the body of the article. Pretty simple, right? Great job! Your new website is now set up and online. If you'd like to learn more about Drupal and get more familiar with the dashboard, we have a bunch of helpful video tutorials and guides over on our website here at firstsiteguide.com. We'd also be happy to help you out with any questions you might have, so feel free to contact us. Take care and enjoy your new website.